Let's play some solitaire, baby. Let's freaking go. As a child of the 90s, I have a special fondness for Windows, especially before Microsoft cared too much about how it looked. And Windows 98 in particular was the OS of choice on my beige hand-me-down computer, which I used almost exclusively to play the unaffiliated LEGO title, Bricks. I probably just opened up a core memory for some of you, so. You're welcome. Fast forward to today and you'll still find me bringing my childhood versions of Windows to modern devices, like when I wrote that Windows XP theme for MIUOS so I could enjoy it on my Ambernic devices, which many of you have sincerely thanked me for, which I really appreciate, but it was really just some Canva magic and then bundling it up in a zip file. But what if I was to build a port of retro Windows that was actually interactive with a mouse, a desktop, a start menu, and maybe even some applications and some interactivity there? And what if it ran on the original Game Boy? You know, the handheld from 1989 with a 4MHz processor and 8 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah, seems doable to me. I've actually wanted to mess with Game Boy development for a while, notably since Modern Vintage Gamer posted a video outlining how beginner-friendly it is now that there's so many community libraries available. But I only had about a day to put this project together, and I'm a sucker for really pretty UI'd applications, and that's where GB Studio comes in, which is the open source project that gives you a nice GUI toolkit so that you can compile actual Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROMs, and Honestly, I'm really impressed. I'm pretty comfortable with visual dev tools, so I was able to figure out what I needed within about an hour for this project, but maybe that's because in middle school I was busy putting out banger games like this using GameMaker 7. And no, making video games in middle school did not get me girls. So how does this actually work? Well, in my case, what I wanted to build classifies as a point and click style game in GB Studio. So it's pretty much a bunch of screens with pre-rendered backgrounds linked together by specifically placed trigger areas that the player can click on. Then when I'm on an application screen like the calculator, I can play around more with the fancier features of GB Studio, like presenting a menu of potential math problems to solve and then presenting a dialogue based on what you chose. Funny enough, the GB Studio stuff was the easier part and a lot of my time was spent just shuttling designs in and out of Canva, trying to compress and contort all of the artwork to fit the Game Boy's color palette and restrictions. I'll spare you the trial and error, but the solution I landed on was to set the canvas to 160 by 144, create all the screens that I wanted, and then if any screen was too detailed and would throw an error in GB Studio, I would come back to Canva and use the Pixelify app to reduce the amount of detail in the image, and in case you're wondering, yes, that's why all Game Boy graphics are pixel art. Then when I would spot any elements that were not showing up very well on the Game Boy render, I would darken those in Canva so that GB Studio would translate them to a darker, more visible shade of green available in the limited GB palette. Finally, I would export them all as compressed PNGs and drop them into the project folder. As for sound, I did try pretty hard to get the Windows 98 startup sound on there, but it's just too complex and big for what the Game Boy can handle, so I settled for a little beep sound at the startup instead, which I think is a nice touch considering that the BIOS used to beep when it posted, so... If you know, you know. After all the assets and logic were assembled in GB Studio, I was able to click a button and I was presented with my native GB ROM, which could be run on native hardware using a flashcard. And in this case, the flashcard I'm using is the EverDrive for Game Boy and Game Boy Color from redproclub.com. And it comes preloaded with over 2,700 games for those systems. So definitely check out the link in the description if you want to snag this or another flashcard for yourself. Okay, Colton, enough with the How It's Made episode. How does this thing look on the Game Boy? Well, I'll do my initial demo on the original Game Boy, but as you can see, I've got a bit of a, a screen issue here, which makes it a little hard to enjoy the full glory of Windows 98 on an original Game Boy. So I'll start with this and then I'll switch over to my Game Boy Advance so you can see the Game Boy Color variant that the ROM also got compiled to. All right, moment of truth, baby. What's up? Windows 98 on the original Game Boy. Let's go, buddy. Boom, got our mouse movement. Go down here, we've got our start menu. Here we got our Internet Explorer, and it's beautiful. <laughs> don't you miss it? Don't you miss Internet Explorer? I don't, but I kind of miss seeing it on the desktop, weirdly enough. Calculator with math problems. We can ask it. Let's ask it a tricky one. Divide by zero. Oh, well done. Hop over to Notepad. And if we click it, we get, hello world, this is Notepad for Windows 98. Thank you. And everyone remembers briefcase and no one knew what it did, but it's here. <laughs> it's just here. And would it be Windows 98 without including Solitaire? Let's go, baby. We can actually interact with it. You'll notice this card up here, uh, it hops between this spot here and this, so we're sort of undoing, redoing a move. So let's hop, 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 hop. Cards, 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 cards. 
Let's play some solitaire, baby. Let's freaking go. And then, when the show is over, hit the bottom right corner. And that takes us to the classic, it is now safe to shut down your computer screen. And then you can press A to boot it again. Bop, bop. And back up we go. Now let's see what it's like in Game Boy Color mode. So you can see I applied a blue kind of coloring to the uh, title screen there and then the kind of GB uh, green to the rest because it was sort of a, a teal look to 98 in general. We got our Internet Explorer, beautiful. Our notepad, Mr. Calculator. Tell me the meaning of life or what is two plus two? No way it's four. I'm gonna check your math on that one. Our beloved briefcase, just be in there because he's the briefcase. Start menu for days, and let's go solitaire. Let's play us some solitaire. Let's go, let's go. And then we can shut her down. That's just freaking wonderful. <laughs> Brings me so much joy. Now, obviously this is more of a novelty than anything functional or anything, but I'm not opposed to releasing a version two. Or would it be a service pack two? Let me know in the comments any thoughts you have on ways this could be either more functional or interesting or fun to use. I'm happy to uh, hear them and who knows, maybe I'll get around to updating it. But if I don't, I'm actually putting up my source code for this project on GitHub for free. And so you're free to take a look at it, mess around with it, download the ROM, change the assets, add applications, and whatever else your inner 90s kid desires. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more retro Frankenstein videos like this and we'll see you next week.